You know how babies play with blocks? They stack them, they build stuff out of them, and, uh, you know, have some fun with them. Well, think of base 10 blocks as um, kind of the same idea, except there's uh, there's some rules involved. Um, it's a way of organizing numbers using blocks. That's what base 10 blocks are used for, to organize numbers and, and kind of represent them and show what they look like using blocks. So here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at what these blocks look like. Let's start on this side. We've got the smallest one here. We call that a, a, a one because there's just one of them. Okay, and they're also called units, so uh, don't get scared off by that word. Units and ones mean the same thing. Now, if you take this block and you stack 10 of them on top of each other, you get this tower. Okay, now this tower has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks. So we call it a tens. Makes sense, eh? That's kind of, you know, common sense there. 10 blocks makes a 10. Uh, we also call it a rod because it looks like a stick. Like a rod, right? Sticks, rod, same sort of idea. Um, now, look, 10 of these side by side are going to look like this. 10 rods stuck side by side make 100. We got 100 little ones here. Take my word for it. I'm not going to count them. But if I was going to, you can pause the video, count it if you don't really trust me. Um, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you keep going, you're going to get 100. We also call this uh, not just a hundreds block, but we can also call it a flat because it looks like a flat. It's kind of flat. You see how it is? Now, if you take 10 of these and you stick them side by side, you get a block. And there's a thousand inside of this. Now, why do they call this a thousand and this a hundred and this a ten and this a one? Well, the answer is because this is called a one because there's uh, just one of them, right? You can put a whole bunch of them side by side. You still got a bunch of ones. This is called a tens because we have 10 ones inside of it, right? We got a one, two, we got 10 of these little ones inside of it. This is called a hundred because we have a hundred what? A hundred of these rods, right? No, we don't have a hundred rods. We have a hundred of these ones. See these baby ones? They kind of look Elmo's. They're baby Elmo's. We have a hundred of them, right? Remember I was just telling you to count them all? Uh, by the way, how many rods do we have in this thing here? Count them. One rod, two rods, three rods, four rods. You get 10 rods if you're done counting them, right? If you finish it off. Now, what we're going to do in this lesson is learn how to count these blocks and turn them into numbers. Well, let's look at this example. We got a whole bunch of blocks here. and We got to figure out what number this says. Here's the first step. Always make this. It's called an HTO, uh, I don't know, fill in the blank section. But the H stands for the hundreds, the T for the tens, and the, Z, the O stands for the ones. And your job is to count all of these blocks and tell me how many of each we have. If you look at this here, we have one of the hundreds. So we'll put a one here. We've got, let's see, T stands for tens or rods. Uh, we have one, two, three of the rods. We'll put a three here. And now we got to count the ones. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ones. Now, how do we say this number? We say it as 100, right? Because you got 100. And three and six. What does three and six make, right? Three, six side by side makes 36. So 136. By the way, check this out. Right, so now we have the same kind of question, but more blocks. So we got to do this. Bang, always make that your first step. I don't care how good you are at this. Always make your HTO blanks before you do anything. So let's count them. We got how many hundreds? We have one, two. We got to put a two there. We have one, two, three. Oh, let's do this. One, two, four, five, six of the rods. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. Yeah, that's how easy it is. It's not that hard, is it? So how do we state this number? Well, we read it as two, two of the hundreds makes 200. So we write 200. And then six and eight makes 68. By the way, if you're good at counting by tens, since these are all tens, you can go 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 
50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Still the same answer. All right, same kind of question, different number of blocks. Step one is what? Right, HTO. Now let's fill in the blanks. How many hundreds do we have? We got one here and one there. That's just two. How many tens do we have? Oh, we don't have any tens. So we just X out the 10 section, right? No, don't ever do that, guys. Don't ever do that. Just tell me how many tens we have. How many do you see? Zero. Right? I had some people in the past, they just kind of ignore that. They just exit out and don't even use it. No, you still have to put a number where the tens is. It's just zero. And how many ones do we have? We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. Oh man, so how do we read this number with a zero in the middle? Well, it just says, look, two of the hundreds makes 200. And uh, zero, eight just makes eight. Oh man, why does, how's that wrong, Mr. Melholm? I've said 208 just like you said 208. Yeah, but look, see that word and? Can't use that word and. Okay, it's just 208. Don't ever use the word and when you're writing numbers or saying them. Okay, this is a little bit more advanced here because there's more reading required. It says, what is the value of 300 blocks, 8 rods, and 5 units? What, Mr. Mellon, what are you trying to do here? You're trying to mess me up? No, not really. I just want you to get better at reading. So you got to kind of turn this and uh, let's, I don't know, let's do this. Let's make our blanks. And it says we've got 300 blocks. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw this out. I think that's a good strategy for you to follow. Um, let's change into my pen. Pen. So how do you draw blocks out? You have to draw all those little squares? Not really. You just got to draw what it says. Three hundreds. Go one, two, three. Make a big squares. You got eight rods. Here's what, how I like to draw rods. Just like lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rods. Just like what they said and five units. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And you see how I organized them? I put them in their own sections side by side, and that way you can see them easily. Now let's fill in the blanks. We've got 300, so I'll put 300. Eight rods makes eight rods, eight tens, and uh, five ones. Well, why did I have to draw these blocks? I could have just taken these numbers and put them in. Yeah, I know you could have done that, but I mean, it's good to practice drawing these blocks because the questions get harder and more challenging the further we go into this unit. So it's good practice to start from now. So how do we say this number? Well, 300 makes 300. Eight tens makes 85, right? 85 here. 385. Thanks, guys. See you in the next lesson.